June 10th, 2012. From Comedy Central's World News Headquarters in New York, this is The Daily Show with John Stone. Hello, my name is John Stewart. We've got a great show for you tonight. Democratic Senator Bill Nelson is here. My guest tonight, Bill Nelson, Democratic Senator from Florida, only senator to ever be in space. Let's give him a warm round of applause. Hey, John, how you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Pleasure to be here. So I have something for you. I know uh -huh. you're from the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here's an orange. Wow. Oh. This isn't an orange. This is a, this is a Clementine. We're on a budget here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Out. All right, unnecessary, but all right. Um, first question, Bill. What's it like to poop in space? Ah. Pooping in space? It's quite an experience. It's quite an experience. It's got to be. Oh, yeah. Pooping in space, I'd say it's unlike I've anything I've ever done in my life. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What sort of activities do you do while pooping on said toilet? <laughs> you know, they have a special contraption. Ties you down to the seat so you don't float away. It's unbelievable. Do they give you an eye? And they have a suction so the poop doesn't float around. It's uh, it's quite sanitary. It's clean. Yeah. Sanitary. It's sanitary. quite sanitary. All right. Uh, let's talk about uh, Senator Bacchus for a minute. He's sort of the sourpuss of the group of oh, senators. Senator Bacchus? Yeah. Senator Bacchus is a fantastic senator. I love working with him. He sort of tends to lean towards the Republican side. Do you guys allow him to go to the oh, Christmas parties? You know, no, we don't have any Christmas parties. No, Sen you know, Senator Box is a Democratic senator. You know, he's a, we're not divided in the Democratic Party at all. Uh, he just has some opposing views to the party at this point, but they're not because he is more of a Republican than a Democrat. They're simply because... He's catering to his constituents, and that's what the people of the state need. Can he be bought? Have to ask Jack Abramoff on that one. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, I want to get your views on the matter. What's up with this pipeline? You know, this pipeline, it's not the right time for the pipeline. We need to, there needs to be more time to review the safety precautions. There needs to be better reports submitted to the Obama administration. And there needs to be more valves and more sensors along the pipeline so we know there's not a chance of a leakage or an accident. I heard the company who did the evaluation was top 25. Though. Oh, the, the company that did the evaluation is the right company for the job. Okay. Go. Yeah. The Ogala Aquifier, that's something that needs to be protected, yes? Oh, yes. The Ogala Aquifier is vital to the country's health. It's the largest source of drinking water for the Midwest. How can we, how can we uh, jeopardize that? Well, look, I have some drinking water here from the old Gala mm, You fire. do? Yes, and uh, it's rude to not provide your guests I'll, with a beverage, so... I'll take a glass. Cheers, I'll... yeah. Look at this! This is gross! What is in this? Bottoms up. What is in this? This uh, looks bottom. to me like... It's pure, pure, pure oh, water. This is pure water? Alright, that's bottoms up. Oh, that's... That's tasty. That's top quality. That's mm, hydrate. Thank you, Senator Bill, for coming today. Ah, pleasure, pleasure. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> the Keystone Pipeline is a big topic in the news today. Up in Canada, we have our chief oil correspondent, John Oliver. John Oliver, everybody. Hello, John. I'm here on the border of Canada, right where TransCanada is planning to build the Keystone Pipeline XL. Uh, thank you for joining us, John. What's it going to take to get this thing built? Well, John, TransCanada's got some pretty hefty demands. First off, they want America to turn over Sidney Crosby, and they want their own Canadian office. Doesn't look like Obama's going to budge. The Democrats seem to still be in a position of power. With the majority in the Senate, they can stop this permit. America needs to lessen its dependence on oil. Joan, Joan, Joan! It's not just about oil. There's another agenda at play here, Joan. A Nazi agenda. The most important thing right now right, is that we're going to be dependent on 
is increasingly on every single day, every day it's that's increasing. Not a good thing. That's a bad so, thing. John, that's a heavy allegation. As you can see, Senator Baucus is a Nazi spy and he's using this pipeline to infiltrate our borders. And we can't let that happen, John. What could his agenda possibly be? Well, John, the Nazis are at it again. It seems as though they've created some synthetic special oil. Special oil? Well, we're not just talking about regular oil. Well, they've managed to get this far, John. And we can't allow the Nazi regime to spread into American homes. This pipeline spreads from Montana to Texas. And who's the puppeteer running this whole magical oil regime? Governor Rick Perry. After losing the bid for president, Governor Rick Perry is now trying to take over our oil reserves. What action can he take? Action. Affirmative action. That's the central issue here, John. Haven't you been listening? Once Perry takes down Abby Fisher, he'll use her and his victory to take over all of America. John! John, we mustn't! Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, John. Thank you for joining us. Everybody, John Oliver, everybody. Here it is, everybody, your moment of zen. I have been to space.